Sesame seeds or benny seed is a flowering plant grown for its seeds. It is grown in pots and has a high demand across the world. Benny seed is known for its high oil content when compared to other oil seeds. The seeds contain between 40% oil to 50% oil and has up to 25% of proteins. The seeds also contain antioxidants, essential amino acids, vitamins and minerals. Therefore, Benny seed or sesame seed has a high health benefit. Extracted oils from Benny seed has found uses in the pharmaceutical industry, bakeries, confectionaries, and cosmetic industry where it is used for the production of creams and body lotions. Sesame cultivation is on the increase in Nigeria, although it has gained the most traction in the northern states of Benue, Taraba, Nasarawa, Jigawa, and Bauchi. However, it also grows in other parts of the country like the southeast and the south-south states. It is known for its ability to withstand drought as its yield can be significantly reduced by too much rainfall. Varieties of Benny Seed Five cultivars of sesame seeds are recommended for use in Nigeria. They include the Nikri Ben O1M with an oil content of approximately 45% and potential yield of 1 ton per hectare. Nikri Ben O2M Type 4 with a potential yield of 0.75 ton per hectare and an oil content of 45%. Nikri Ben O31, also known as Goza 25, with the lowest oil content of 40% and a potential yield of 0.6 ton per hectare. The E8 variety has the highest oil content of 50% with an equally high potential of 1 ton per hectare. Yande 55 has a potential yield of 600 kg or 0.6 ton per hectare and 45% oil content. Specific locations in Nigeria have specific planting seasons. For example, in the Guinea, Guinea savanna of Nigeria, that is the middle bed, if you want to plant sesame, the first uh, cropping season is between uh, March April, while the late planting season is uh, July. August. You don't just plant your sesame in May, you don't just plant your sesame in June or in September. No, you will not get any good harvest. Then, but for the Sudan savanna, they have only one season that is last week of June to first week of July. Why for the Sahelian savanna, Jigawa, and those other Aziz in the north, there then it's between June and early July, that is the onset of rainfall in that particular place. So that is the time that you need to start planting your season. The place that is suitable for sesame production and that kind of place must be a place that the soil is sandy low, well drained soil because sesame doesn't need waterlogged soil. It can tolerate drought too for a long period of time. So once, if you are going to farm sesame, look for a place that immediately after rain, then the soil will dry up. Then also look for a land that is flat, not land that is undulated. Land that is like the same level. That is the kind of land that is good for sesame production. Cultivation. Sesame is planted between March and August, depending on the ecology of the place and rainfall. It does not require a lot of rain, so it can be planted almost when the rains are over. Sesame prefers loamy soil that can retain moisture with a pH of between 5 and 6.5. Adequate lamp preparation must be carried out to prevent early emergence of weed. So you clear your vegetation either using cutlass or you can use glyphosate, herbicides. You can use cutlass, axe and so many tools to cut down the trees and disturb the vegetation that is there. Once you are done with a uh, clearing of your vegetation, you need to do tillage operation. You can either use tractor, you can either use animals to hand tillage with simple holes like the uh, simple implements like hoe. Planting can be done in ridges or in a plain ground. However, ridges are preferred. 
Platinum ridges requires a spacing of 60 cm by 10 cm. But if you are going to intercrop it in maybe granules, cowpea, millet or some other crops, you can make your ridges at the interval of 75 cm between the middle of one ridge to the middle of the other ridge. For broadcasting on the plain ground, the sesame seed must be mixed with sharp sand to guarantee adequate spacing between plants. And also, when you are planting your sesame, especially if you are broadcasting, the best thing is for you to have even distribution of the plants on the field. You mix your sesame with sharp sand, maybe ratio 2 is to 1, then you broadcast or 3 is to 1, dried sharp sand. As you are broadcasting, the sharp sand will make the sesame seeds to drop at intervals. It will not be too clumsy in a particular spot like what we are seeing in the farm here. Sesame requires constant weeding if a pre-emergent herbicide is not used during plant preparation. Constant weeding is required in the four weeks after planting as young seedlings can be choked by yet to germinate seeds. Thinning can be carried out to ensure adequate plant population. Three weeks after planting, what do you do? You go and thin your system to two plants per heap. You also need to control weed in your farm because it's not good to allow your plants to compete with weeds. Weeds may affect the production of your farm. So what you do is you use uh, the mazapin to control uh, as pre-emergence herbicide in your sesame farm. Another name for it is Galax. That is the trade name that you can easily see in the market. Then for your post-emergence weed control, you can also use a fusillate. Fusillate is also a good herbicide, post-emergence herbicide that if you spray inside sesame, every other weed will die for your sesame will not die. So these are all good uh, chemicals that one can use to control after selection of the right seeds, the next step is to plant your seeds. Approximately 4 to 5 kg of sesame seeds is needed per hectare. Fertilizer application MPK and urea are common fertilizers that can be applied to sesame plants. Sesame is a crop that doesn't need too much nutrient. Two bags of MPK 1515 is okay for you to cover one hectare. Just if you drill or you plant at this 10 cm or 15 cm, just drill the fertilizer by the side, drop it and cover when the sesame is 3 weeks after planting. Pests and diseases. The sesame plant, like most crops, is susceptible to attack by pests and diseases. You know, insects attack sesame unlike cow To plant your sesame, then you need to get an insecticide. But because sesame is a crop that if you spray with chemical anyhow, then you see that the grain, if you eat it, the chemical may have effect on you. So what you do is you look for a chemical that they cannot have negative effect on human beings. We have a lot of uh, organic uh, chemicals now, insecticides now available in the market by there and some other ones. You can get them and spray your sesame pack to control insects. If not, the insects may want about a lot of most of the flowers that your sesame may be producing. And once the flowers are aborted, it may not be able to produce a lot. Then another thing is, sometimes some insects may come and just tie the leaves of the plant together, making the plant not to grow well. Some of the insects may feed on the leaves of the plant and others. So you need to control insects first in your sesame by spraying it with a chemical that is good, mostly a bio uh, chemical or an organic chemical. 